Hello, my fellow virtual vestiges of Vaseline. I'm Mr. Church. Today we're going to be building inside this massive pylon here. And I know you're probably thinking, oh, I've seen pylon bases before, you little dumb dumb. And that's fair. I've made pylon bases before, but I never put any of those on my channel before. And I wanted to do that because, I mean, this is my channel. I can kind of do what I want. So I'm going to do that. Now you're going to want to put the, uh, base itself down up here just to give yourself a little more build height if you don't and you put it on the ground when you get up high it's gonna be too high to build in and also we want to get some of this rock inside the build zone uh, which you will see why right immediately I'm building this covered bridge and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to line this up as best I can with the naked eye then I'm gonna snap a foundation to it and I'm gonna get rid of that for now and I'm going to snap these foundations out over to this to make sure that it's lined up. And I'm basically going to line the center line up with the triangle, the top of that triangle there, you see. And I want to make sure this is above these cross pieces in here um, uh, because that'll become apparent later. And then I'm just going to get rid of all of these except for the first one. Well, no, actually, I'm going to leave this one and take some stairs and snap downward. Now you're like, what the fuck is going on? Well, I want the inside of the pylon, what I'm building in there, to be square with what I'm building up on the side of that cliff. So we're gonna keep everything connected for right now. And then after 10 years of lag, just snap this L shape over this way. And then we're gonna snap up uh, some staircases, which we will begin putting down our floor after we get three, uh, we're gonna snap to that. So this is basically where we're gonna start off. So we're gonna take one of these little floors. And for this layer, what I'm doing is I'm just going to be kind of zigzagging them around uh, to make sure they fill in all the spots and using the small ones as well to fill in spots. And I'm trying to keep it symmetrical at least so it has some symmetry, but I'm also kind of randomizing how I put these in so it looks like we built them with our own two hands, which is always good. Then finally someone can get off our dick and uh, about, you know, how we don't do any work and how we just sit around eating cabbage and smoking cigars, which no one's ever accused me of doing, but I bet it would hurt my feelings if they did. Now, once we have this down, um, you'll see we have this... Uh, little platform here we're able to squeeze some of the small ones in and we're going to come back and delete these stairs over here and this foundation and now we're going to snap all the way over to here uh with the um i don't know what i'm doing but you know like just don't worry about it with these covered bridge decks and that'll line up and as you can see it's completely flush with the build because we started off with it as a square and at this point we're just going to be ramming in some fences wherever we can and it doesn't matter really what you use up here the goal is to make it look scrappy and like we built it ourselves right now though i'm gonna move some of these around to make sure we can snap a staircase to them so that means you know you can't snap a staircase to where two floors meet it has to be in the middle of a floor if that makes any sense at all and on the sides here so that we can snap some defensive walls to it uh, but we just shuffle those around it's not a big deal and now I'm gonna take these and go around the outside edge here um, once they cooperate and uh, sometimes it'll let you snap through the poles and most of the time it won't so be very careful and you want to take as much time as you need when you're putting down that first uh the first foundation but as you can see this is what the top deck is like and i have two uh full sized or you know two you know what I'm, you can see it i don't need to luckily tell you because i can't speak uh but as you can see that is to make it easier when we go to put walls down up here. Those will snap to those upper floors a lot easier. We won't have to worry about it uh, being all over the place. Now over here, um, I didn't like how this uh, pole was floating. Um, and I know a lot of you guys like building uh, floating poles and foundations hanging out over the cliff. And uh, 
other stuff that makes literally no fucking sense. But for me, um, personally, physics has always been, you know, a real humdinger. So I thought maybe we could try to make it look, you know, s not stupid. So I put this down here and um, I'm basically, it's, it's just a foundation of a, a carpet with two poles on it. Uh, I've shown how to do this in the past. I'll leave a link for you guys if you're not sure how to do that to a video where I showed how to do that in. Then you can place that anywhere. Then what I'm doing is I'm destroying it, uh, which will let us snap this through there, and then I'm repairing it. But I'm actually, um, it's really hard to like get it lined up because you can't really see what the fuck you're doing until it's already too late. So I'm just putting like two down next to each other, trying to make it kind of fat. Now, this took uh, way more time than it really should have. So I sped it up as fast as possible, but it's not fast enough. So you will, I, I'm sorry, have to suffer through it like I did. But, you know, eight times less than I did. Because at least you didn't have to do it yourself at um, real-time speed. Of course, you will if you follow this tutorial, but, like, no one's you know, making you do that, thankfully, and I'm sure that's a relief for you to hear. So, let's burn this one as well, and now when we snap this back here, we can repair that, and now we have the pole going all the way to the rocks. Please just stop jumping around and repair it. Just get this over with. Uh, thank you um, so much for finishing that. And uh, that looks shitty, but it looks like it's at least, you know, supporting it. Now we're inside on the bottom floor, and what I've done uh, is I've I've tried to figure out why I can't double this up, and it was a real puzzle, and then I realized it was because, um, well, the, the game hates me and it doesn't want me to build here, so I just, well, I, I, I decided I would just worry about that later. So I put some of this fencing around here. Now, the nice thing about this build is we're kind of making it look as shitty and scrappy as possible. So, um, by the way, if you're using the stored tab and you hit square, it doesn't toggle snapping on and off. It scraps it. So you have to go to the actual place where you build it to toggle snapping on and off because they made one button do two different things. Uh, anyway, so I just zigzag it back and forth around stuff and uh, it serves our purpose of looking like it's kind of shitty and falling apart and handmade and all that other stuff that people say about the things that you made with your own two hands and really hurts your feelings and brings you down and makes you realize you should probably just give up and go do something like accounting <coughs> or maybe maybe you could invent some cough drops i don't know what just happened i think i just like inhaled like everything that my cat has ever shed which is like four pieces of hair <clears throat> I'm not editing it that out though because like you guys want auth that's an authenticity which is why I'm also not editing that out and so that what that translates to is you get to watch you know the best the best version of me which is also um, not that good um, unfortunately so we're gonna follow that same zigzag method um, even when I don't need to zigzag because there's nothing in the way I still am gonna zigzag a little bit oh yeah and sometimes it'll say it needs support that that message means that it's intersecting with something in the game. The game just doesn't understand what the fuck it's talking about. Uh, it has support. What it needs is some space. So don't believe the error codes that you read. They're lying to you. Um, especially when they say they love you and they want you to buy their next game that they make. Which is probably a good idea. I would do it if I were you. So... That's exciting to look forward to in 2038. So what we're going to do is, um, you know, have like an aneurysm trying to connect these barbed wire fences and then just give up. Just, just oh, no, I didn't give up. Fuck, the one time. Jesus. Um, I don't think that um, this is like, I mean, like a relaxing build, but I think it turned out well enough. I guess but you know it's it's fun uh and you don't have to worry about it looking all square and proper because like if you look at the other like um 
in-world builds in the game, they look very, very crappy, and that's what we're going for here with all this shit. So I don't think I showed building these walls up here, but there you have them. They're up there. It's just the walls around the outside edge. It's pretty simple. Um, I really don't think I need to patronize you by showing you how to place those. But if you need to, like, pause the video up when I just showed up there, uh, feel free to do that. I know that um, this isn't, like, the best tutorial ever made, but you knew that already when you saw who posted it. So, like, let's not get ahead of ourselves here. Everything's fine. Um, and then I was like, why can't I snap that? And it's because I put one of those there. So just delete that um, while you do this wall here. And then and then you'll be able to snap that back in after. It's just about build order. It's not a big deal. I wouldn't worry about it. Um, like, it's just something you can screech and swear about a little bit. But, like, don't say that I didn't warn you. So, you know, that's fine. Uh, let's... Uh, Put that back in, and of course, I mean, it won't snap in from this angle. We have to get above it. Of why, why would we be able to snap it in from any other angle? F stupid. So anyway, let's um, figure out, uh, put a wall in there. So I've doubled this. Oh yeah, let's get rid of that because it's, even though it's green, it won't go down. And then we'll put it back. And of course, it won't go down from here. I have to jump up here again, so that's fine. And um, cool. And put that back in and repair that, and then. Uh, we'll have this doubled up. Let's repair those walls there that I didn't need to burn. I just thought they were interfering, but it was the, the covered bridge all along. It's fine. But as you can see, it's coming along nicely. Um, I think we just saw the future because that windmill isn't placed yet. Um, just don't worry about that. Probably you just imagined it. Right now... We are going to try to put something underneath a windmill here. And you can't place stuff under the windmill. It hates you. Um, but I thought maybe if I burn the shit out of it, then I would be able to place the windmill there. And obviously, that's not going to work. But, like, we live in our hopes and dreams when we game to get away from reality. So, like, I just thought, you know, maybe we just try it. You know, let's let's put some optimism towards it since we're not using it anywhere else. Uh, that didn't work, so I'll just keep that one there, I guess. And this carpet made it a little bit better, but still bad. Um, but, I, I mean, that's what you get when you build with these things. They add a great aesthetic to the build, but, you know, they're shit. Now, what you're going to do here, since this isn't a full uh, three wide, is you're going to replace these with slants. Then you'll be able to burn them with this thing once we can get here. And um, and once it, those are burned, we can just um, snap some uh, roof pieces off from these ones here. And uh, yeah, it's pretty simple. Then you can repair uh, once we jump down here for no reason. Uh, and yeah. Stop having ADHD, oh my god. I you know, editing these videos is, like, actually painful. Because I, like, see what I was doing. And then I just... God, there I don't put a roof there. Just stop. Just stop. Like, do something with your life. You're look... Mm. So, um... that I think that was probably... I just was staring at the wall for a few minutes... Um, I do that now and then, because, you know, it looks, it's weird. Let's, um, let's not worry about any of that. You can't replace this roof. Um, want to know why? <clears throat> uh, me too. It's because there's stuff on it, but, like, who cares? Like, we can make it a, t never mind. I'm not even gonna, don't even bother trying to figure that out. So, over here. I want to put some barriers, but I can't get them too close to the foundation. So I snap the foundation behind the stair so that it still has support, you know? And so I can get rid of that one for a bit. And then I can put these in here. And I'll try to get them kind of, uh, like, lined up and shit. And then, um, once that's done, well, I will should be able to just snap the foundation over them. And if it doesn't let me, then I'll just burn them. But it, it looks like it's going to let me. Then I can get rid of that one. And now we have those. Pretty cool. Pretty good. That's fine. Um, and then I don't... 
yeah, just walk around like an idiot and then delete that. Okay. And over here, um, we are now upstairs through that skinny-ass door out the back, and we're going to try to make a little ladder thing here. Because why not make something that's not functional and takes 10 years? I don't see a reason. So what I did was I blueprinted this shit, and I'm going to take that, and then I'm going to um, just stack the blueprint. That way I just can worry about the uh, cabinet being square and I don't have to worry about the thing on the top lining up. Because it doesn't. <clears throat> well, it does. I mean, um, sort of. Yeah, I guess. Well, don't worry about it. So then um, then I forgot to do get rid of that. So then I did. And then it's fine. Like, what you learn uh, when you're watching my videos uh, is to just don't do it again. Like, I think that that's fine. We all have, like, a, you know, character development, and that could, that could be part of yours. Okay? So, yay. I mean, that's f good, right? And, no, like, I know what you're thinking. No, I don't. Want to know why? Because I don't fucking... I'm not a psychic. The fuck? I don't know why you, like, always think that I can just guess your inner thoughts. Anyway, just... Once you jump around like a moron, get rid of that, and then uh, I think we'll do one more up. Just, just, just line it up. Take all the time you need, because like when you do it, no one's watching you. You know, so you have to worry about viewer retention when you're building this on your own time. So really, just take that advantage, and you can go with that, because that's something that will make your camps better. Now we have those floating here. What we can do is take this and have one, we, well, place that down as close as you can get. And it's going to be an idiot and snap, like, that, which is not where you had it. It hates you, so then turn snapping off and just try to do it again, I guess. And it doesn't work. <clears throat> well, I mean, it's... It, like, eventually, it will work. It's just burn the wall. Yeah, burn the wall. I burned the wall and put that stuff there, and it seemed to finally go into place. Now I'm putting the stuff back um, inside, which I guess I didn't really need to do that right now. Just repair that, and now you can see the ladder is there. It's finished. Yay, we did that. It only took so long to do you can't climb it i don't did you think you were gonna be able to climb it it's just it's just conduits on the wall but this camp is pretty tanky like if you have some like neck beard bitches that like get mad at you because you join their team or whatever i did wrong then uh they, and they missile it uh because uh, they couldn't like find love then it actually seems to protect it pretty well from the blasts but let's take a look at the finished product um so over here uh you can see from down this way all the little like shit details we put in like really paid off it looks like it belongs in the world and that's exactly what we were going for uh we didn't want some stupid a box inside there that's what i built last time i built the pylon house and it was cool because of where it was but it just didn't fit and i wanted this one to really feel like it fit you know so uh let's come over here i've got a little guard area i've got a little um coffin which i sunk this bench into using the conduit thingy and if you don't know how to do that like it, i do it like every video pretty much except for this one like you can probably see it pretty quick anyway uh, that's uh, how to get in and then on this bottom layer uh, it didn't like I I showed some of this wall placement but mostly it's open and I have these junk walls in the corners at angles as you can see um, and that's pretty much it so like there wasn't a whole lot tutorial wise to show like me building it just you know put fences where they feel like they should go but there's a, like an amazing view up here and 
you know, I put all my uh, benches here. There's a brewing station, you know, another view, piles of shit. We want this place to look lived in and maybe died in, I don't know. Uh, and, uh, plate, you know, functional, so we have our, all our benches that we need, um, and it makes sense that the, that this, uh, power armor station would be here, because if you were going to come here in power armor, you'd come over the bridge, because it's big and fat, you wouldn't take the stairs, in my mind, I don't know, but yeah, I just, uh, put those junk walls here, I'll fly out so you can see that, it's just wedged in the corner like that, and then I have, like, the gate, just different pieces of defense all the way around. I have this uh, stuff on this shelf. Um, I can leave a link to show you how to do that as well, um, if you do not know. Uh, I put carpets down to cover up that hole and to make it a smaller hole in case we fell from up here. But yeah, the, the views are amazing, um, especially when there's missiles coming at it, you know, and someone that like, you probably thought was your friend uh, sitting there watching it happen. Um, it's pretty cool as well. Um, and then over here we have, uh, of course, piles of barrels. I put, you know, just different details up, like like uh, that spiky board thing over the window. But yeah, as you can see, you come up the stairs in here. We have uh, this, this wall here, and I merged it with that junk wall. So just put the junk wall down, burn it, and then put the wall up. It's pretty simple. But as you can see, there's just, uh, it's just a, you know, it would be a three by three, but it is actually a two and a half by three, kind of. Uh, but we have the corner uh, kitchen here, uh, piles of mattresses in case we need places to sleep or maybe ours gets pee in it when we pee our pants when we're sleeping. That happened one time but i was like super little like it was last anyway so um you can see the just the yeah kitchen what in the dining room in the living room with the, my favorite channel and then if we come through here uh you actually can if you turn sideways uh you can fit through there we've got a i put this fence up there it's pretty nice um guard area the um, ladder that we can't go up, well, we can jump, you know. Now up here, I wanted it to feel like one of those, like, I don't know, like in cities where people have, like, gardens on the top of their big-ass high-rises. Um, that type of vibe. Uh, so, like, a greenhouse kind of feel. So I've got a guard area, but I also have, like, lots of plants and uh, vegetation. And this brewing station, which looks very planty and uh, stuff and then just you know heaps of plants everywhere and if we come back here I also couldn't put anything under here obviously but um, I tried you know that's really all I can do isn't it and if you put these foot lockers here you can just step up over that you know and uh, I, th I don't know I think it turned out pretty good but I guess you can be the judge of that along with everything else including how i run my channel thank you jeff i appreciate you but thank you even more to my patrons i appreciate your support uh you guys are awesome and i uh love you all um thank you for watching if you liked what you saw consider subscribing if you haven't already and i'll see you in the next video